Over here, you can see I have this variable, let result equals compute total amount. And then there's a bunch of other actions going on over here. So what we need to do here is, it's written that first we need to create a function compute amount, which we have done over here. And then the requirement is that this compute total amount should return something that is going to let us perform these subsequent function calls as well. And once all of these function calls are executed, the result should be something like this based on these inputs. All right. So how would we implement something like this? So just think about it. If you actually think about it properly, this question is not so hard. So when do we use dot in JavaScript? We use dot when we're dealing with objects, right? So this means let's say over here in the compute total amount, let's say I was returning some sort of object just like this, then it would mean that when I invoke compute total amount, we get this object over here. And if compute total amount returns this object, then on this object, we can use dot and different methods that are included within this object. So let's say we have lacks over here, right? So I'll just copy lacks, paste it here. And this is obviously going to be a function because it's invoked over here. So I'll write lacks, nothing but a function. And this will accept nothing but an argument, which is nothing but amount. And then this will do something. All right. So if compute total amount returned an object, which is this part, then on this object, if we did dot lacks, then we would be accessing the lacks function of this returned object, right? Pretty easy. That makes sense. Similarly, if we had thousand as a function, then let's say I'll just write thousand. And this will also be a function that receives an amount. And that's how this will look like. So lacks and thousand are two different functions which can be accessed from this object using the dot operator. All right. But there's just one tricky part over here left. So when I call compute total amount, I get this object. Then from this object, I call dot lacks. So I invoke this. Then dot lacks should also return something so that I can move on with this chaining, right? So that after I've executed this, I can call the rest of the functions after the dot operator. So once compute total amount returns this object, then it calls dot lacks from that object then dot lacks should also make sure that once the computation has been done within this function that it also returns nothing but this object again because if dot lacks returns this object again then after this dot operator if we call dot lacks again then it would do nothing but this object dot lacks which will again call this over here with the new computed amount all right so it means that every method we create lacks thousand and crore in all of these cases we need to return this entire object every single time and in javascript we know to return this object over here all we can do here is we can write return this because this refers to the object that's it's within or basically the object the function was invoked with so if it's compute total amount dot lags and compute total amount returns this object. So this object dot lags means that this will point to this object, right? So if we return this, we always get this object. So after every computation, we return this so that we get the object, this entire object with all the methods, and we can keep chaining these function calls. So similarly, I'll copy this and I'll paste it here as well. And I'll also create a crow function or a crow method. I'll copy this, paste this here. Now, with that done, the next thing we need to do is we need to calculate these values. So 12 lakhs plus 30 lakhs plus 60,000 plus 3 crore. And then we lastly invoke the dot value, which will return nothing but the final computed value. So to do that, what I can do is within this compute total amount function itself, I can create a variable let total amount. And this will start by being zero. All right. And because of closures, this total amount is always going to be a reference throughout this object. So all throughout these method calls, since we keep chaining them and calling this object over and over again, but because this object was a part of this complete function, compute total amount, which has total amount in it. So this object will always maintain a reference to the total amount variable. All right. So now here I can write total amount plus equals nothing but amount into one lakh just five zeros similarly i can copy this and paste it here 
then whenever thousand is called total amount is going to be nothing but total amount plus the amount that's been sent which is nothing but 60 so 60 into 1000 which is 60,000 similarly in this case it would be 12 into into 1 lakh which is 12 lakhs then 30 into 1 lakh which is 30 lakhs and all of these just keep getting added all right then over here i'm gonna paste this again and this time it's going to be amount into one crore which has seven zeros so let's just add two more zeros all right now after all of these have been done after we reach here the total amount has the final amount with all of these values added then at the end we need to be able to return the final value which is the total amount so we also need to create a value method within this object so here just copy this paste it here name this value this will take no arguments and all this function is going to do is it's simply going to return the total amount all right that's it so now with all of this done let's actually go ahead and test it so when i run this i should be able to see this output three four two six and four zeros let's check that out so if i click on run oops you can see we get this error over here which is unexpected identifier at index js 10 well that's because this is an object right after every function we need to add this comma over here so i'll add these and then now i'll click on run and there you go you can see the output is 3426 with four zeros which is the same over here so this means that our compute total amount works perfectly fine and it just chains in all of these method calls and returns us the final value all right so that's all for this question